Imagine your doctor, Leah Katz, a skin cancer specialist who's seen everything the textbooks offer. Her patient, Maya, walks in. Third recurrence, surgery failed. Radiation means six exhausting upcoming weeks. Then a colleague hands Dr. Katz an article about a one hour wire called Alpha Dart with early data showing every single tumor responded. That wire belongs to a company worth barely $300 million. The ticker is DRTS, and the pivotal decision in Japan is only months away. If regulators say yes, Maya's story could repeat thousands of times, forcing Wall Street to rewrite its playbook. at Tel Aviv University, professors Kesari and Itzhak Kelsen chased a bold idea, load high-energy alpha particles into tumors without nuking the body. Then, medtech dealmaker Uzi Sofer, fresh off taking brains away from lab to Nasdaq, saw the sketches and co-founded Alpha Tau Medical. And their mission statement, turn a cancer marathon into a coffee break. Seven years and two US factories later, the hardware is real. Leadership really matters when you bet on a microcap. Uzi Sofer, chief executive officer, is a 25-year medical technology veteran. He previously co-founded a neuro device company called Brainsway, navigated it through multiple FDA clearances and ranked the Nasdaq bill when it went public. At Alpha Tau, he oversees strategy, regulatory, and two manufacturing builds in the United States. Then we have Professor Yona Kesari, chief scientific officer who co-invented Alpha Dart and has published more than 200 peer-reviewed papers on tumor immunology and radiobiology. He still teaches at Tel Aviv University and anchors the company's scientific advisory network. Rafi Levy, chief financial officer, spent a decade in Goldman Sachs Healthcare Investment Banking Group before holding senior finance roles at two Israeli biotechs, where he executed secondary offerings and structured non-dilutive loans. He now guards Alpha Tau's cash runway and negotiates its strategic partnerships. And now, rounding out governance, recent board appointee Maya Netzer brings Big Pharma operating experience from Dexcel Pharma and multiple advisory roles in life science scale-ups. Together, the team covers clinical, regulatory, capital markets and manufacturing under a single roof. Whenever I'm looking into a biotech stock, the first thing I want to know is, what's the catalyst? And that's why I use Biofarm Catalyst. Their FDA calendar is gold. I can quickly see what companies have major events coming up, like Bidufa dates or adcoms. And that's where the big moves usually happen. I also check their cash database to make sure a company is not running out of cash. Plus, I like looking at low float names that can really pop. And with the Elite Plus tools, I get access to the conference calendar to catch data drops and even track what top biotech hedge funds are buying or dumping each quarter. So if you're doing biotech research, this saves you so much time. I'll drop the link below, so go check it out. Now, picture a rotten apple in a fruit bowl. You target the rot, not the whole bowl. Alpha Tau's trick is a wire coated with radium-224. Under local anesthetic, about as dramatic as numb in a tooth, the doctor guides the wire through the thin needle into the tumor. Over the next few hours, the radium spits out alpha particles, bowling balls that fly only a tenth of an inch. And they smash cancer DNA, but stop almost instantly, leaving healthy tissue unharmed. After that, the wire is out and the patient walks out within an hour. Early lab work hints that the shredded tumor weakens the immune system for an encore. Bottom line, big power where you need it, no collateral damage where you don't. In a phase two skin cancer study, every treated tumor responded and roughly 78% disappeared completely. 
all without serious device related side effects. Also, first in human pancreatic cancer trials presented at the 2025 ASCO GI Symposium showed disease control rates above 90% with a clean safety profile. And one metastatic patient even cleared liver lesions after alpha dart was added to chemo. In head and neck cancer, combining alpha dart with Keytruda delivered the 75% objective response rate and nearly 38% complete response versus 19% and 5% for Keytruda alone. So I was asking myself, is there any competition in this field? Well, the current heavyweight Liptio or Semiplimab is a PD-1 antibody from Regeneron and Sanofi. In advanced skin cancer, it boasts an overall response rate of around 44% and a complete response rate around 13%, which is way lower than alpha dart and also brings immune-related risk like lung inflammation and colitis. On the other hand, we also have gamma-ray brachytherapy that can kill tumors too, yet it requires a lead-lined bunker and often harms the surrounded skin. And this is important. No other device delivers localized alpha radiation, giving alpha tau a very clear first mover edge. Alpha tau closed 2024 with 62.9 million in cash. Management says that that alone covers two more years of research and development. Q1 2025 came in with an 8.7 million net loss, better than expected, and 54.8 million cash. A 36.9 million April raise lifts the war chest to about $91 million. With a quarterly burn just under 9 million, the runway stretches roughly 30 months, long enough to await Japan's verdict finish the pivotal US trial and even ship first commercial orders if approvals come through. Looking at the balance sheet, the balance sheet is clean. No long-term interest bearing debt. Shares outstanding hover near 70.5 million, only a hair above last year, meaning recent dilution is minimal. Authorization exists for more shares, but management has kept the cash register quiet. So, a commercial approval by the FDA or Japan is only the starting gun. Manufacturing more wires, training doctors, and securing insurance coverage could cost about $100 million. Alpha Tau aims to fund that with strategic partners, equipment leases, or milestone deals rather than big equity raises. If everything works out, revenue could arrive without heavy dilution. Now, let's talk market opportunity. The first target is 70,000 high-risk skin cancer cases in the United States at roughly $20,000 each, that's $1.4 billion a year. Add pancreatic, brain, and metastatic head and neck cancers and the addressable market surpasses $5 billion a year. And for a company still valued under $300 million, capturing just a slice could be transformative. Let's do some crystal ball math and fast forward to 2029 and test three futures using the same yardstick, which is 90 million shares and a three times price sales multiple. Case one, in the downside case, Japan stalls and the FDA delays. Only 2000 patients are treated and revenue is roughly 40 million and the share price should sit near a dollar a share. Case two, in the base case, approvals land on time. 12,000 patients receive treatment and revenue hits about 264 million, translating into around $9 a share. Now in case three, in the home run case, Alpha Dart expands to multiple cancers, treating 40,000 patients and topping a billion dollars in sales. In this case, shares could easily clear $30 or more. These ranges are illustrative, real world adoption pricing and dilution will draw the final chart. And now here is the takeaway without the drama. Alpha Tau has a first class device encouraging multi-cancer data, a 30 month cash runway, no long term debt and several binary catalysts. A Japanese approval decision in Q3 2025, first patient in the US pancreatic pilot trial and completion of pivotal restart trial. Success could unlock a $1 billion revenue, while delays or safety surprises could push the share price toward the downside case 
that we modeled before. I personally keep a starter position, high risk position, and will update the channel as the data matures. If this breakdown helped you, hit like, drop your questions below, and remember, this video is information and not financial advice. I'm Wasim Larusi, and you've been watching The Biotech Investor.